doing a little comparison video today. All six, seven saws, seven saws. All right, we've got the Echo CS310 with a 14 inch bar. We have the Echo CS3510, our new 35cc saw, which has a 16 inch bar. Both of these saws have a 91px chain on them. It is a safety chain. And we step up to our 45cc CS4510 new last year. This guy has an 18 inch bar on it with a 325 pitch chain. Then we step to our 490, tried and tested. Um, 50cc saw again with an 18 inch bar, uh, 325 pitch chain. And then we step up to the high performance version of the 490, the CS501P, also a 50cc saw. Same 325 chain on that as well with an 18 inch bar. Then we step up into our 60cc class. So we have the CS590 uh, Timberwolf. Um, this thing hit the market uh, quite a few years ago and definitely took the uh, market by storm. Uh, again, this guy just has an 18 inch bar on it. Um, that's kind of the shortest that I would go on this machine. I would definitely uh, probably get it with either a 20 or a 24 on it. And then the CS620P, which is basically a high performance version of the 590. And this guy has, uh, both of these, sorry, have a uh, 3 8 standard pitch 050 chain on it. And uh, both 59.8 uh, cc's. The differences between these two saws I'll cover in a bit here. Uh, but there are quite a few differences and uh, you'll see that there's uh, definitely worth the money to upgrade to that 620. So today I'm going to compare all these saws. I'm going to weigh them and uh, show you what the uh, timeline is to get through a piece of wood like that and show you why it's worth to step up into a bigger saw. All right, um, starting with the CS310, 14 inch bar, uh, fully fueled. I'm gonna weigh it first as you would run it. If I can get this on here. Zero it out. All right. Fully fueled, ready to go. I don't know if you can see that or not. 10, 10.8 pounds. It's not focusing. 10.8 pounds. So CS310, it is a 30.5 cc chainsaw. Um, this is it. cc saw very light like I said 10 pounds very easy to use all right next is the CS 3510 16 inch bar uh, this is a brand new it's a 34.4 cc chainsaw it's brand new um, it's extremely light for the size and the performance um, I'm gonna weigh it here show you guys see it all right that came in at again I hope you can see it 10.5 pounds so 0.3 of a pound lighter than our CS310 um, and an extra four cc's so I'll show you how this guy runs here. Thirty-five ten. Thirty-five ten. 
510. A little bit faster than the 310, um, but same weight. A little bit more money, obviously, more power, um, but uh, amazing little saw. Really impressed with this guy. Okay, uh, now we're stepping into a little bit bigger. This is our 4510, CS 4510. Uh, this is a 45 on the dot CC chainsaw. It's got 325 chain, 18 inch bar. Um, let's see what this guy weighs. Full of gas, ready to go. Ouch, ouch, got my finger in there. Fourteen point four. Fourteen point four pounds. All right, so we're up basically almost four pounds exactly from the thirty-five ten. Ten more cc, four pounds. And let's uh, show you how she runs. We're getting some speed here so probably one of the smoothest saws that we have in regards to, to vibration it's got all metal isolation mounts same as the 35 and the uh, uh, 310 but it's just a it's just a smooth smooth running motor so nice and fast though all right next uh, we've got the CS 490 uh, this saw used to be called the CS 500 P and then uh, we uh, removed some of the pro professional features on it, like a, like an aluminum handle, uh, turned it into plastic, and uh, that's actually about the only change we made to it. And uh, now it cut the price quite a bit, but it's a 50 cc saw, 50.2 cc's. Yeah, 50.2 to be exact. I'm just gonna get you a weight on it. All right. As it spins around. So 13.9 pounds, fueled with an 18 inch bar. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I'll uh, show you how she cuts. <laughs> That's the 490. So we're looking at uh, pretty much almost an entire pound lighter than our 4510. Um, not quite as good of engine isolation mounts. It's got rubber instead of metal. So a little bit more vibration in the handles, um, but more torque. So it cuts a bit faster. Um, fantastic little saw, full pro feature. So this is when you step into a full aluminum crankcase or magnesium crankcase on this guy. Um, so yeah, you can run this thing for days and days. Probably one of my favorite saws in the lineup. Easy to start, just nice and light. Uh, runs great with a 20 inch bar on it as well. So yeah, that's the 4510. All right, uh, sorry, the last one was uh, not the 4510, that was the 490. Anyways, this is the 501P. Uh, it's one of our X-Series saws. Uh, this guy here is also a 50.2 cc saw, so the exact same size of engine as the 490, um, but it's got some different features on it. So uh, back to an aluminum handle from the old 500P. Um, it does not have a soft start on it, which means it's got full, full compression when you're pulling on it, so it's a little bit heavier to pull over, but then we've got a decompression button on it. So you push that, it's a little bit easier to pull over. Uh, same 325 chain as the uh, as the 490, 18 inch bar on this guy as well, um, just more power. So we do that by changing the ignition timing, changing the port timing on it, a little bit higher compression, um, but same full magnesium crankcase. Uh, so yeah, full commercial saw here. So here we go, Power 501P. <laughs> Notice 
noticed uh, quite a difference in just throttle response and all that compared to the uh, 490. Uh, this thing's got about 70% more power, 17, 17. Um, I forgot the weight of this thing, hang on. So the weight on this saw, you're looking at, let me get this thing turned on here. Zero it out. So this guy comes in at 14.1 pounds, 14.1. So very close to the 490. It's probably just a little bit of difference in how much oil or fuel I have in it. Um, but they actually have the exact same weight of body. It's 10.6 pounds without a bar and chain and no fuel in it. So another four pounds, three and a half pounds for all that stuff. Um, this has become my favorite saw in our lineup. Um, it's light, it's maneuverable. Um, I can work all day with it and not get tired. Um, it's a decent amount of power. Um, it's just a fantastic saw. That's why the bar is upside down because I actually use this guy quite a bit. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the 501P. On to the 60cc guys. All right. Uh, only two more saws to go. We've got the Echo Timberwolf. This is the CS4 or 590. Um, yeah. This thing is amazing. It's heavy, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a 59.8 cc saw. Let's throw the scale on it for you guys. It is, do, 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 do. So it comes in at bar and chain, a whopping, really not that bad. I don't know if you can see it, 17.3 pounds. So, 17.3 pounds. That's four pounds heavier than the 501P. So again, every time we jump 10 cc's, we seem to jump about four pounds. <laughs> so anyways, um, 590, again, full pro everything on this guy, um, other than a plastic handle and a uh, spur drive sprocket on it, clutch. Um, yeah, 59 cc's. Here we go. Show you what the difference is. Now we're getting into some real speed. So once we step into that 60 cc, uh, bracket yeah we get a little bit heavier um, but that's when you get into firewood uh, if you're just cutting firewood all day this is kind of the bad boy that you want to get into it's gonna be fast it's quick it's not bad to work on when you're down on the ground uh, I find when you get it up over your head she turns into a beast and uh, last but not least the uh, CS620 okay so real quick before before I get onto that 620 just want to show you guys some of the differences between the 590 and the 620. Um, this is the 620. Yeah, this is the 590. So I took the bars off. They're really messy. I've been using these a lot. Haven't had a chance to clean them. But basically, uh, you can see here, aluminum handle on this guy. Okay, this has a plastic handle. If you look closely, that has a standard spur drive sprocket on it. All right. Uh, so when that guy wears out, you got to replace the whole clutch. This guy has a rim drive sprocket on it, which means when that guy wears out, you just replace the rim. Or if you want to change the gearing on it, or change the pitch of the chain, or anything along those lines, you're not replacing the sprocket, or sorry, the uh, the clutch. You're just replacing that little clutch or sprocket, which is a lot more uh, reasonable to do, easier, less tools, all that kind of stuff. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. Physically, same air filters, uh, same spark plug. Uh, the differences are internally. So uh, ignition timing, port timing, uh, different uh, coil on it. Um, so it gets a lot more power out of it. So I wanna show you the power difference. Now, I don't have a good chain, a 20 inch chain, which is what the bar that I had on this is. So I'm actually putting the bar and chain off of this guy onto this. So we get an exact, um, representation of power difference between these two. So give me two seconds.
All right, uh, last saw is the 620P. Um, put it down to an 18 inch bar. And uh, it's also a 59.8cc saw. Uh, like I said, a few more commercial features on it. Um, this guy comes in at 18.3 pounds. Again, fully fueled, all that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't show you. 18.3. I don't know if you can see that or not. 18.3 pounds. Right there? Anyways, let's see how she cuts. That is uh, basically everything that we have from a 30cc saw up to a 60cc saw and everything in between. The um, reason why I did this video is basically to show people kind of what you're getting, what you're paying for. Um, every saw obviously has its place and has its purpose and, and people think, oh, I'll just get the cheapest thing that I can buy and away I go. Uh, but then I end up trying to cut fire with this thing and you spend half the day you know, sharpening chains and whatever else because uh, you don't have the right tool for the job. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps people out with their buying decision. And uh, if you have any questions, leave the comments below. And uh, thank you for your time.